Welcome to the Men Unplugged Show. Get ready to plug in and recharge your life, family, and career while igniting your faith in Christ. Now, here's your host and champion of helping men live with passion and purpose, Jeff Jarena. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff here, and welcome to the Men Unplugged Podcast. On this episode, I'm going to present to you a question. It's a question that the Lord's been convicting me on probably the past four to six weeks. And I'll be honest with you, I've been wanting to uh, create an episode about this question probably the past two or three weeks, but I just didn't know how to bring it up. I didn't know that um, when I shared this question with you, I I just didn't know how you were going to think about it. So I'm prefacing this question by saying this, that when I share this question with you, I'm just I'm bring I'm saying it more in a general sense, okay? Not in the specific sense that once you hear it, um, don't pause this recording, don't stop it, because when I say this question, I don't want you to think, well, Jeff, I don't have that issue, I don't have that situation right now, or that's not something I'm having to deal with. So I preface it by saying this: think of this in terms of anything general in your life, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and explain that actually more detail after I share this question with you. So without any further ado, here's the question. What is your Nineveh? I'm going to ask the question again. What is your Nineveh? Now, obviously, I'm not talking about Nineveh here in terms of what Jonah experienced. You know, the story of Jonah when when God asked Jonah to go to Nineveh and what did Jonah do? He didn't go. God asked Jonah to go and speak out against the people in Nineveh because they were morally corrupt. They were doing everything against what God told them to do. They were, they were basically doing the opposite of what God said do. They were living a life that was immoral. And God told Jonah to what? Speak to them to bring them back to God, to restore them to the Lord. But Jonah didn't want to do that. He rejected that idea. He avoided God's plan, and he went his own way. And we know the rest of the story. So what happened was what? Because Jonah didn't do that, he ended up getting in a boat. He wanted to go to a different place. Then the waves, you know, the boat had issues, and everybody else was talking to Jonah saying, Dude, what are you doing, man? Why are you not doing what your God has called you to do? And so what happened after that? A big fish swallows Jonah. And so it wasn't until Jonah repented of his ways and came to the point where he was like, God, your path, your way is better than mine. I'm going to do what you've called me to do. Even though he didn't want to do it, Jonah accepted God's path, his plan in his life. And what did he do? He said, God, I want to do what you've called me to do. And then all of a sudden, things got better. Jonah went to Nineveh and things were restored and better in Jonah's life. So when I ask you, what is your Nineveh? What I'm really asking is, what has God called you to do? Who has he called you to speak to? What has he called you to learn? Where has he called you to live? What um, job has he asked you to take that you are not doing? Because of whatever. Maybe it's fear. Maybe it's a situation that you want to avoid. Maybe it's a conversation you don't, you don't want to have. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's skill sets that you think that you don't have. Whatever it is, maybe you think you don't have enough finances. Whatever it is, what is your Nineveh? And you may have, your Nineveh may be, God has called you to speak to a specific group, a specific organization, or an individual. Maybe God has has blankly told you that, hey, somebody needs to say something to them to restore them to me, but yet for whatever reason, you're not doing that. So I want to encourage you here today to think about what is your Nineveh? And if you do have a Nineveh of any kind, I would ask you to go to the Lord in prayer and to ask him to point it out and to ask for the courage, the strength, and the forgiveness and the perseverance to see that out, to actually go to the Nineveh that he has called you to go to. Now, let me give you a couple of questions here that you can ask yourself 
to see whether or not you do have a Nineveh. And if you do, what is that specific Nineveh? What is that thing that God has called you to do, but yet you're avoiding it? You're not taking that path. And, and here's the thing. The silver lining here is that once we find out what it is, and once we go that route, we go that path, just like Jonah, things get better. The storms go away. And maybe in your life right now, things are not going as smoothly as you hope for. Maybe the circumstances in your life are a little bit more difficult than you want. Maybe, and you don't even know why, but life is a little bit tougher this year or this month than it was last month or the year before, five years before that. And without blaming the economy or anything like that, maybe if you think about it, maybe what it is, maybe there's a Nineveh that God's called you to go to, and yet you're avoiding it, or you're reluctant to do it for whatever reason, or maybe there's multiple reasons. So here's a question that you can ask yourself. What is that thing that others have told you that you should be doing, that they sense that God has called you to do, but yet you haven't done it yet? That's one question. The second question is this. What is that one thing that you sense that God has called you to do, but yet for whatever reason, maybe it's fear, you're avoiding it yourself? And so I would say this. If you could write those down, if you could reflect on those two questions, and here's the thing. If both of those questions come up with the same answer, chances are that's the Nineveh that God has called you or has been calling you to go to. And for whatever reason, just like me, a lot of things in my life, I've avoided. The reason why this is really on my mind is because I just see, you know, looking back on my life here, I I don't know if this is something you do when you get older, but there's a lot of things that I look back on my life that I could have actually done a lot faster. The result could have been a lot better if I would have just done what I felt God had called me to do for so long, but yet because of fear or thinking I didn't have the skill sets, didn't have the finances, you know, afraid. Here's another thing. I was afraid to fail. All these different reasons or excuses, I avoided those Ninevehs in my life. And so one of the things that it delayed were receiving the blessings from God. Those were one of the things that it delayed. The other thing it caused was stress. And so as I close down this episode here, I want to just encourage you to go to the Lord in prayer and ask Him, what is that Nineveh in your life? And if there is one, ask Him for the strength and the courage and the perseverance to see it through, to actually start going towards that path. And to help you, if it relates to your purpose or calling, you feel like you're called to do something, but yet you don't know how to put it all together. You don't know how how you're wired. You don't know how God specifically designed you. And you really want to find out this thing. You really want to find out how God has wired you. What is your purpose? I want to point you to the menunplug.net website. When you go there, go to menunplug.net forward slash purpose. And you're going to find different resources there that will help you find and live your God-given calling. 